Hey and welcome to my video on single player commands version 2.4 I'm just going to run through each command and give you an update from the last video so uh, I'm going to get, bring up a list of commands um, there they are there, just typed help to bring them up uh, so first one's ascend and that just brings you to the next platform uh, above you so which is there apparently type, there we go it's because I've got fly enabled um, and then I type descend for the opposite effect. I go to the platform below. Cool. Next command is bind. Um, bind command uh, uh, binds a command to a keyboard key. So if I type bind and then 22 is the letter U and then a command so give stone. If I type U, um, I give myself stone. And to get rid of that, I type unbind and then the key code so 22. Cool. Um, next command is clear which clears your console. Let's bring up help again. Um, next command is damage, which turns damage on and off. Uh, so now I can't get damage, so water damage, fall damage, whatever else. Uh, See, so I'm not losing any water damage. Um, won't lose fall damage. If I get stuck in a block, I won't die. All that cool sort of stuff. Just going to damage back on. Uh, diffuse is next, so I'm going to give myself some TNT. Um, to show you this, uh, it basically just diffuses lit TNT. So now if I type diffuse, it'll diffuse it and it gives you a little TNT item in return. Um, there's also diffuse all, which diffuses all TNT in the world. Next is destroy, it destroys items in your inventory. So if I just split this up a little bit. Um, if I type destroy, it'll destroy my current item and destroy all, will destroy my whole inventory. If I can type it right, um, there we go. Next is diff, so diff and difficulty are the same. It just sets the difficulty level, so this is 0 to 3. 0 is peaceful, um, peaceful, and uh, 3 is hard. Next command is drop store, so drop store stores your entire inventory in a chest nearby. So if you just type drop store, your whole entire inventory is in a chest nearby. Um, dupes next. So dupe duplicates items. So I'll just grab this stone here. Um, and for effect I'll do that. So let's dupe this. I should get 32 more stone. And there's also dupe all, um, which duplicates every item in your inventory. Um, dupes the same as duplicate. Next command is explode. So explode creates an explosion where you currently are. Um, four is the size of TNT. So in that case, eight would be double the size of TNT. So let's just try it out. Um, there we go. It's quite large. Uh, it explodes. Uh, fun little command to play around with. This extinguish is next. So I'm just going to give myself some flint and steel which is ID 259 um, there we go and now I'll try and extinguish a fire with the extinguish command well not try, I will oh, I'm just killed a sheep, a black sheep alright, so the tree is on fire, we're like, oh no, the tree is on fire um, type extinguish to get rid of it or extinguish all next command is fall damage, it turns fall damage off um, and on, if you type it again so from this height down to there, I'd probably lose health normally, and I don't anymore. Uh, there's another demo, because I didn't jump the last time. I should turn full damage back on. Fire damage is next, um, so you can't get burned this way. If you're on fire, you don't lose health, as you can see. So I'm on fire. Ah. Um, yep. Fly is next, so fly allows you to fly around. Um, move your mouse around to move up and down and side to side, um, like so. You can use spacebar to go up and left shift to go down. It's quite a useful command I've found. And just type fly again to turn it off, uh, like so. Uh, give is next, so give an item an I all the same, it just gives you a, a, the item specifier, so it can either be the name of the item, like stone, 
and I'll give you a maximum stack of that, or it can be the code, so one for stone, or as you saw before, two five nine for flint and steel, or two seven eight for a diamond pickaxe. Um, you can also specify damage, so to get coloured wool, for example, you would type give wool, then the quantity that you want, so you'll want 64 usually, and then the colour of the wool, so wool 0 to 15, whoops, 0 to 15, um, I'm going to do 10, I think that's purple, and there's some purple wool, a full stack of 64. Alrighty, next is uh, set and go to all the waypoint commands. So I'll quickly set a waypoint. So there we go, set waypoint. I set the waypoint waypoint. Haha, <laughs> funny. Turn fly back on. Um, so it's over there. Now if I type go to waypoint, it'll go to where I just set. Um, I can list the waypoints by typing L or list waypoints. So I've got two at the moment. Here, example and waypoint. Um, I can go to both. Um, I can also remove them, so if I want to remove waypoint, it's the simplest typing rem, waypoint. If I list them all again, there's only one. Um, that's the waypoint commands. Next command is grow, so you can grow uh, saplings and reeds and wheat with this, so I'll just grab a sapling. Uh, Inventory is kind of getting full. If I plant it here, it's got to be like a normal tree and light and everything, and if I type grow, it'll grow the tree. Works with the yeah, reeds and wheat as well, and there's also grow all to grow quite a large area. <coughs> help is next, so H and help are the same. Um, bring up all the same commands, and there's also help and then command name. So if you specify a command name such as, let's uh, say, go to, it'll give you some help about the specific command. So descriptions go to a waypoint, syntax go to then the name. And then go to example for example. Uh, it's help for you. Next is heal. Heal he heals a number of half hearts. So one is one half heart, two is two half hearts. So I'll, I'll heal one heart. Or heal, if I want to heal the rest, six. Um, you can also lose health if you want to, like negative ten. Next is health. Health does predefined figures. So health min puts you at minimum health. Health max at maximum health and health infinite for infinite health or not infinite health, just that number there quite a large number unlikely we'll ever go through that um, home is next, so that just puts you at your spawn point just type home that is my spawn point apparently uh, yep I've said instant mines next, so if you just type instant mine um, with any item equipped you can instantly mine any item or any block it doesn't do bedrock um, for various reasons, um, but you shouldn't really be using bedrock anyway. And the world in, uh, super pickaxe mines bedrock, so it's not that much of a big deal. Uh, there we go. And to turn it off again, like I mentioned, uh, just type in some mine. And if I click, yeah, it's off. Next we have uh, item name, so if you just hover over an item in your inventory, uh, well, the item selected and type item name, Oops. There we go. It's called Flint and Steel and the ID is 259. So it gives you quick access to IDs and stuff. Uh, item name. And it's full. It doesn't actually tell you the damage figure, which is probably something I've got to add. Um, something in the future, maybe. Item stacks next. Um, this gives you a stack of items. Or stacks of items. The full quantity. So let's say I want a heap of uh, a gold block, I think it's called gold block and I want a hundred of them couldn't find it uh, alright, I'll just do something I know uh, item stack stone and then let's say I want ten stacks, there's ten stacks of stone it's going to fill up my inventory there we go next is jump, so jump goes to where your cursor is pointing, so let's say I want to go to this tree over there, I don't want to fly over there, just jump. There we go, I'm at the tree. I'll go over there, now I'm here. Uh, kill the next, just kills the player. There we go. Uh, kill NPC, kills, like the name suggests, NPCs, there's an NPC there, let's kill the NPC. Die. There's also kill NPC all, um, to kill all NPCs on the map. 
Uh, I'll show you in action later. Next is Macro. Uh, I don't actually have any installed at the moment, but if you visit the forum thread, um, there's a whole heap of information about macros. It basically runs a set of commands in a file. Um, yeah, enough said. Max stack changes the stack size of an item you specify. So let's say I want maximum stack of 333, which is boat. And let's make boat 64. So if I give myself a boat now, I now get 64 of boat by default. And as you'll notice, I can stack them still. They don't sort of do that funny thing that they do. You know what I mean. Um, next is message, so you can just put a message on the screen. Hello YouTube, for example. Just put the message on the screen, very simple. Music is next, it just requests music to be played, and you can set the music volume. Um, it won't always play, so the music volume is 0 to 100, 0 being off, 100 being full. Uh, no clips next, so just type no clip, and you can clip through, well, anything. Even bedrock, so you can go underneath the map if you really want to. Um, you might find that useful, exploring and whatnot. So no click back off. Next we have P and Pause. Um, they're both the same thing. They just give you a current position. Um, you can use these in conjunction with Teleport. Um, so if you know coordinates you want to go to, you can type Teleport or Tele or T, um, and then type negative 83. 65, negative 124 to go to those coordinates, um, and there we have it, I'm back where I was. And it'll go anywhere on the map, so you can be totally outrageous and go to like, I don't know, a million if you really wanted to. Uh, reach is next, so it sets the player arm reach distance, so it's by default it's 4, you can just type reset to reset it. Um, but let's make it interesting, make it 100, and uh, if I give myself some stone, I'll go decorate something over there. I'll decorate that wall, for example. Is it going to pick up? There we go. And there you go. Uh, place blocks from any distance, and you can also mine them as well, as you can see here. Uh, all right, uh, refills next. So I've used some of my stone. I type refill. It'll refill back to maximum stack. Um, and there's also a Refill all. It refills everything in the inventory. Remove drops is next. So let's say I have some drops. Let's make some drops first. I can use the explode command because it's fun. Uh, there we go. There's a whole bunch of drops. It's making the world lag, whatnot. I can remove drops. And there's also a remove drops all. Um, next is repair. So you can repair an item if it's damaged. Um, I'll just quickly give myself a diamond pick. Uh, you can do repair all as well um, if multiple items are broken. So if I just type repair, there we go, it repairs it. And yeah, like I said, repair all. Resets next, resets all settings to default. So I won't be flying now, my speed's normal, my jump's normal. Every everything should be normal. Um, returns next, it returns you to where you last teleported from. I haven't teleported, I don't think, or it's not working or something, I don't know. It usually works. Um, if it doesn't, just let me know not going into it now. Search is next, allows you to search for items if you don't know the item name off the top of your head and you don't want to look it up. You might know it has iron in the name maybe, so you type iron and there's all the things with iron them. It tells you name and ID, so for example you can give yourself iron ore or 15. Cool. Next is set jump, so you can set the player jump and the number you put in is the multiplier for the number, the height of the jump, so two time multiplier, jump twice as high as normal, or outrageous and do like a, I don't know, ten times jump, I go really, really high, um, and there's also just set jump reset um, to put it back to normal. I'll probably die, yeah, I'll die. Um, it doesn't matter. Next is set speed, um, like set jump. It's multiplier, so two times multi three times multiply, five times multiply, five times is pretty good. Move around pretty fast. Um, three times is probably the best because it's controllable still, uh, but not outrageously slow, like one times multiplier. 
Uh, and there's also set speed reset as well. Next we have spawn. So we can spawn creatures like this. So we can spawn pig. Uh, where the hell did it go? Where did my pig go? Oh, there it is. Hiding. Um, and we can get a list of things to spawn. So you can spawn custom NPCs and stuff if they're added to the game the correct way. Most are. Um, with this list. And it gives you name and ID. So you can just type spawn skeleton, for example. And I'll spawn a skeleton. Or you can go spawn 51. And I'll spawn a skeleton as well and we'll just kill those NPCs before they kill me. Uh, there's also spawn random uh, which will spawn just a random creature. I'll quickly fly up Oops, I must have typed something wrong then. There we go, flies on I just did the rendered and screwy. There we go, flies on and we'll do a really cool one, we'll do random and then you can do a quantity as well so it's a thousand. I'm going to definitely die out of this um, but it'll look cool there we go, I've died already. Um, but yeah, quite a few creatures there. And we'll just quickly kill them all before they kill me again. And there they are, all dead. Um, next we have spawn stacks, that so just spawns a stack of creatures, just list the creeper uh, the creature names one after the other. For example, creeper creeper, two creepers on top of each other. And that didn't work, or he died or something. So let's quickly do it again. Spawn stack creeper creeper fail spelling and there's two creepers on each other ah oh, fuck um, we'll just kill those NPCs again um, you can do as many as you want and there's also random as well so you can just top R for random just a random stack of creatures like that heap of sheep and a pig zombie who wants to kill me um, We'll kill the NPCs again. Spawn stack's pretty useful. Uh, time allows you to set time of day, so time night puts it at night. Time day, day, you can do time set hour and stuff. Hour, I don't know, 11 or something. And it's near night, um, which is pretty cool. There's also time schedule, which allows you to set a time schedule. So if you want to always daylight, you go from 12 to zero and that puts it then so if I make it time night it should go immediately day again it's pretty cool don't you think I thought so uh, use portals next I'll just quickly skip that that puts you in the nether uh, water damage uh, so it turns water damage off so you can't drown now so if I go into water I won't drown as seen just here let's turn that back on um, World next, so it has a bunch of commands. Um, probably the most useful is exit. So you can exit a world without saving. Um, like so. Doesn't save my world. See, that's still there. Um, and there's a bunch of other ones. Just type help world. You can save and load and create new maps and seed and swap. You can load files from anywhere as well. Uh, we'll use portal quickly and then I'll just quickly show you world edit commands as well. So world edit, uh, use portal puts you in the nether, use it again and put you back into normal land. It'll create the portals though which is kind of annoying. I was just over there so I can type jump to go back there. It's pretty useful though. Eh? Um, Alright so world edit is next. So world edit you use ma most of the commands are slash slash. You can check on the world edit wiki and thread for information, so pause one um, set the first position, pause two to set the second and set to set the region with whatever stone you want, uh, block you want, so I wanted the stone there's also undo and redo if I want, um, I'll just undo it again there um, there's a bunch of other commands, there's super pickaxe which is cool it's sort of like instant mine um, but you've got to have a pickaxe enabled, you can't do any item um, there's heaps and heaps of commands, you really got to check it out. It's a great tool to use. Um, it's basically like MC Edit in a world. Not as. Uh, you can't freelance or anything, you can't select regions as easily, but yeah, it's like totally awesome. You've got to check it out. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and rate and stuff, and download the mod. Uh, thanks for watching.